Good evening. Here are some of the headlines to look forward to regarding tomorrow the 17th of September 2024. This is tomorrow's news today. Starting with our national news, Tinubu didn't sign peace accord in 2023. The committee can't compel Edo People's Democratic Party, PDP, says Bishop Kaku. Tinubu arrives in Meduguri to condole with flawed victims. It's an abomination for politicians who rigged elections to expect God's help, says ex-Attorney General of the Federation. Okonjo Iweala is to seek second term as World Trade Organization Director General. Edo Resident Electoral Commissioner won't be removed. Focus on voting process, says the Independent National Electoral Commission to People's Democratic Party, PDP. Without proper identity management, there won't be security, says Tunji Ojo. Police kill three gunmen during attack on Imo State Divisional Headquarters. Navy offers free medical treatment to over 2,000 persons in Bayelsta. One person is dead while eight injured in crash on Third Mainland Bridge. The Economic Financial Crimes Commission arrests five Chinese nationals for illegal mining in a quiet bomb. In our business headlines, 999 Naira in the Federal Capital Territory and 950 Naira in Lagos, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company releases pump prices of Dangote Petrol. Petrol from Dangote Refinery shouldn't be costlier than imported product, says the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN. Regarding Cape Town Treaty, ease of doing business is back innovation sector, says Allen Onyema. Nigeria's inflation rate drops to 32.15%, the second decline in 2024. In our tech news, 110 million Nigerians have enrolled for National Identification Number, NIN, says the National Identity Management Commission, NIMC Director General. In our entertainment stories, he didn't give us anything, Portable laments after meeting Peter Obi. Jackson 5 legend Tito Jackson dies at 70. In our international headlines, Nigeria and the United Kingdom battle over air peace landing rights in Heathrow. The United Arab Emirates, UAE, donates 50 tons of humanitarian aid for flood victims in Nigeria. Finally, in our sports stories, Leicester is unlucky against Palace, says Indidi. Amadou Kida lords Nigeria's under-18 Afro-basket outings. For more details of the news and more interesting reports, do visit our website at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspaper from your closest newsstand. Remember to follow us on all social media platforms at Guardian Nigeria. I'm Ifunayo Okoli for Guardian TV. Good night.